Hello, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. So I absolutely love Stranger Things. I watched the entirety of season 3 in less than 24 hours and I'm not ashamed about it. I love these characters so much, I love the concept, I love sci-fi to begin with, so this is so cool to me that they made this show. I love it. <laughs> I wanted to make one of these DIY Stranger Things accessories video last two years, a year and a half ago when Stranger Things 2 came out, but I don't know if I just never finished it or what. I know I recorded some of it, but whatever. So today most of the things we'll be making is from Stranger Things 3. 3. I have a Scoops Ahoy name tag and a Scoops Ahoy little ice cream pin. I have a Levin's paint splattered shirt. And I also have a Scoops Ahoy hat and a little 11 tattoo that you can do pretty easily. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So to make these really easy Scoops Ahoy name tags and ice cream pins, all you have to do is buy some of this shrink plastic. They sell it at almost all craft stores for less than like $5. So then, I just printed out a picture of Robin's name tag, about three times bigger than the size I want the name tag to be. And I also made sure the image is flipped so it doesn't look weird or grainy once it's all baked. Then I'm just taking a red sharpie and coloring in all the parts that I want red for the name tag. It is super easy, you could do Robin or Steve or make your own or really anything. Once you have it looking the way you want, you just want to cut around the edges so it's the shape of the name tag that you desire. Then it's super easy, you just follow the instructions and bake according to what your package says and it shrinks in the oven and you have this cute looking little piece of plastic. <laughs> so because the plastic is transparent, I'm just taking a sheet of white sticker paper and placing it on the back. But if you don't have any sticker paper, not to worry, you can just paint the back with some white paint and it will have the same effect. Then I'm just going ahead and doing the exact same thing with some ice cream. Once I have the piece baked into the size and shape I want, with the white paper and everything on the back, I'm just taking some hot glue. You don't necessarily have to use hot glue, you could use super glue or E6000, and just attaching a regular safety pin onto the back. And then that's it, it just works like an ordinary pin. As another Scoops Ahoy DIY, can you tell I love all the Scoops Ahoy characters? For the hat, I just printed out a picture of the Scoops Ahoy hat to use as a template and cutting out the letters with an X-Acto knife. Then I'm taking this little sailor hat that I bought on Amazon, but I'm also pretty sure they have it at most craft stores. Then I'm just attaching the template I made to it. I'm also using a spray glue just because it's what I have at home, but using tape would also work just as well. Then in order to prep for the spray painting, I'm taking a plastic bag and fitting it over the hat. And I'm also making very sure to not leave any areas of the hat exposed because I don't want blue paint scattered randomly on it. Then I'm just spray painting it with the blue fabric spray paint. You don't necessarily have to use fabric spray paint, so you, since you don't have to wash it, regular spray paint would work just as well. Then once it is dry, I'm carefully removing the plastic bag and the template, and if there's any smudges or blue marks where you don't want them, you can just go over it with some white paint and you won't be able to tell. And then that's it, you have this cute little Scoops Ahoy Sailor hat. For the next DIY, I have Eleven's cute paint splattered shirt. I bought this long sleeve black button up shirt at the thrift store for less than $5. Then I'm just cutting the sleeves right below the elbow since Eleven's is just a little longer than her elbow.
Then I'm literally just taking paint and splattering it all over the shirt. You can use fabric paint or regular acrylic paint, it honestly doesn't matter, just so long as you don't wash it with other clothes in the washer. I'm just using a purple, a green, and blue color just because that's what her shirt looks like. And then you're just going to completely go to town and have fun splattering it all over the shirt. Then I'm just painting a blue X on the pocket because hers has an X and then all you gotta do is pair it with some blue suspenders, which I do not have. <laughs> but that is it for the paint splattered shirt. And last but not least, for the super easy 11 number temporary tattoo, you just take some eyeliner and just draw it on. This tattoo will last about a day or two depending on how much water you get on your hands. But once you are happy with the design you have, you just take some hairspray and spray it right over. This will make it a lot more waterproof and last out so much longer. When the hairspray is dry, I'm just taking some translucent powder. This step is completely optional. You don't have to. It just makes it a little less shiny and more realistic looking. And then that's it. You can see here I'm rubbing it and it's not coming off at all. It's pretty durable and stays on and looks pretty realistic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DIYs and more fun content from yours truly. Comment down below who your favorite character in Stranger Things is. Mine would have to be Steve, obviously. I absolutely love Robin and Nancy as well are my three favorites. And I love everyone else, obviously, but those are my top three. So yes, comment down yours below. Good stuff. Okay. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you stay hydrated, stay healthy, and stay happy most of all. And I will see you next week.